Hello? Yes, you are live on air, my friend. What do you like to say to us? You are a Muslim, right? Yeah. All right. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Our topic is the crucifixion of Jesus. Did your prophet say anything yeah. about Jesus' crucifixion? Yeah, I wanted to say that, Yari. The Quran hmm. no, says, uh, okay. okay, so you speak Arabic. That's wonderful. So what your prophet is about this verse? That is, this is what this is what the Muslims have. It's just one verse about Jesus. That's it? Yeah, the, the, the verse says, hmm. he was not killed and he was not crucified, but someone hmm. who was made similar to him was crucified. Okay, so that's the whole Islamic religion teaching about crucifixion of Jesus. That's it. Muhammad never said anything else. Yeah, the teaching is about yeah, Jesus was not crucified. Okay, but that, that, my friend Osman, 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 Osman my fine. friend, my friend Osman, listen, I'm asking you, did your prophet say anything additional to this verse? Zero, right? Uh, if uh, the prophet said anything, like mm -hmm. apart from what the Quran says and what the Bible says, those things, Yani, I don't know. He never but said anything. This is what I know. He never said anything. He never, he never. That's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying, Osman. I challenge any Muslim to show me anything your prophet said about this. So bring me a verse saying Allah. He said that. Shouldn't you even explain the verse? Shouldn't Muhammad explain this verse to the Muslims because this verse is confusing? Let us, let us, me and you go over it. You just said that Allah He made someone look like Isa in the cross, correct? Not in the cross. Before he was crucified. Before he went to the cross. In the Bible, Mark, uh, they say Simon of Cyrene. Hmm. In the in the in the Bible says what? Uh Simon hmm. of uh, Cyrene. Yani, Simon of Cyrene. Uh huh. And that is the guy. Yani, the, the Roman soldiers that uh, told him, yani, take this cross for Jesus. And he was the one who was crucified, according to Mark. No, no, and no, 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 no. And Mark it says it clearly that the Messiah. It says there, read it. It says there that the Messiah was the one who died in the cross. But that's not to fabricate stories. You can read it, and people will laugh at what you said, my friend. Don't copy paste. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, he, Mark he, fifteen he, says like that. Yeah, no, so no, 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 no. Okay, read for us. Read for us, okay, guys. Mark fifteen. Mark fifteen. He could. I will open Mark fifteen, and people will. You, know, you see, I'm trying to protect you from people uh, uh, laughing at what you are saying. But you are insisting. Okay, we will go. I will open. We'll put it on screen. Mark fifteen, no, guys. Says. Look at me, like uh, I mean, it doesn't matter so much. No, it matters. Yeah, it matter, my friend. No, no, it matters. When you say something, either it's a lie, or it's true. This is not a joke. You know, it's matter. But because what you are saying is some is something very funny, and not a single Christian. He, you know, all of us we have uh, uh, the Bible in front of us, and what you are saying is absolutely funny. So where in the where in the in the Mark fifteen it says what you are saying? He carried the cross for him to help him. That's it. But th that's it. The one who was crucified, it was the Messiah, the Lord. And then verse number thirty four says, at at the ninth hour, hmm? at the ninth hour, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ uh, can, would can allow. Can you open the, the verses or, or, or on the screen? Sure, so sure. Here we them. go. Sure, here we go. So we. No yeah, problem. Here we go. See, this is Mark sixteen, uh, Mark, uh, uh, Mark fifteen, the one you are talking about. You will see it says it clearly that they made fun of him because he, you know, he claimed to be the king of the Jews. Let Christ, the king of the, the Israel, descend and now from the cross. So who was on the cross? No, I can't see it on my screen. No problem. You take go and take time to show it for you. So you can open the Bible in the internet if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, now it's, uh, it's showing. It's, okay, so uh, the, it's showing, so the, so the, the so the, okay, so they put him in the cross, huh? Mark uh, fifteen. Yeah, we know, we know what fifteen. Uh, no problem. To, okay, see, uh, Simon. Okay, Simon. He helped him to carry to carry the cross. We got the story here. But who is the one who was in the cross? It was Jesus in front of you, and they put a sign says the King of the Jews. Who is the King of the Jews? And they say to him. Let the Christ, the King of the descend, descendant now, of, of uh, come from the from the cross. And then, when the six hours was uh, uh, was came or come, there was a darkness in the whole enter the nine hour. And and the ninth hour, Jesus cried. Who is the one who cried? Jesus cried with loud voice, saying, "Eli, Eli, lima shabaktani." 
So what you are saying I, is absolutely funny, and it's not really what the Bible says. So now we no, go. Is this not uh, how the Jews saw it? Okay, I think, so, uh, so the you, Jews saw like so, uh, it so, was like Jesus. Okay, That's so, why they wrote it like that. Okay, so you are saying now you are you are agreeing with the Quran that the Quran is saying that the Jews saw someone look like Jesus, correct? Yes, I agree with the Quran. Yeah. Okay. Quran, yeah. We'll go back to the Quran then. So what you said about the Bible is absolutely not true. So we go back to the Quran. Okay, so the Jews they saw someone look like Jesus. And yes. When the Jews in the Quran says we killed Jesus, they were lying or they were saying the truth? Uh, they were lying. But how you say they were lying if you just say it, they saw Jesus? If I saw Jesus, I'm not lying. No, it was uh, Simon of uh, Syrian according to, to the verses, uh, brother. I just showed you, it says Jesus he cried in the cross and you are saying to me, Simon? What does Simon have to do with this? <laughs> Secondly, my friend, listen, listen carefully, focus with me. If you just said the no. Jews, they saw someone uh -huh. look like Jesus, right? That's what you said. I'm going with you. So, yeah. if you are a witness in the court, do you say what you saw or you say what you did not see? Mm -hmm. So, so is the Quran lying by saying uh, should be Allah? No, no, no. I'm trying to understand you as a Muslim first. Forget about lying. You are the one I, I said to you. When the Jews, they say, we killed the Messiah, the Jews, they say, we killed the Messiah. I ask you, did the Jews lie about killing the Messiah? You said yes. yes. So now I'm trying to explain to you that if the Jews, they saw the Messiah in the cross, that means we cannot accuse them of lying because this is what they saw. You see, the liar is someone he say something other than what he saw. Correct? So your accusation to the Jews that they are lying is not even smart. And Muhammad, okay, you're, be, you're a prophet by uh, saying that the, the Jews Prophet are Muhammad lying. Came, huh? Okay, before the before Prophet Muhammad came, mm -hmm. their words would have been justified. But when Muhammad came and told them what was the truth about the crucifixion, they, they should believe it. No, 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 no. Forget about this now. Forget about this. I'm talking about the time in the cross. I was there, let us say I was a Jew and my name is Jack Shalom. And then I was watching somebody in the cross and he was, he looked exactly like Jesus, as you said. Allah, he made the look of that, uh, of Christ on in that person. And I was there and I saw Jesus in the cross. And then you asked me, what did you see in the cross? I said, Jesus, how I, how in the world that will make me a liar? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, you will say it was Jesus. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, of course. Mm. But uh, where did uh, this Simon of Siren give back the cross uh, to Jesus again? It says where? there. You know, wait, 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 you know, see, they arrive. You see, we have four uh, four Bibles, and they complete the story for us. That's why we have four Bibles, not one. But if you read the verses there, you will see that uh, uh, he, because he was so tired, you know, it, uh, uh, he, they they are uh, uh, they are humiliating him. They are. Uh, uh, doing all kind of crazy stuff against him and the and the cross is so heavy and he have to carry it all the way to the mount and this is why this person he felt he need to help and he jumped to help but he is not the one to be crucified why he will be crucified anyway i mean is the criminal i mean imagine imagine how funny your story i have listen 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 listen, listen. first of no first of all jesus is the only one is stripped from his clothes they allow him only to wear what is supposedly like uh, to to cover his private part so there is no way for misunderstanding. The guy, he did not jump in his swimming suit. The guy is wearing his clothes, all of them. And the, and the soldiers, there's hundreds of soldiers. And you are telling me the guy who carried the cross, he became Jesus. So look how funny your story. You must then you fabricate something is not in the Bible. Making it to no, making I, it. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. It's funny like, because because how how? OK, I, I want to ask you. OK, I am. I am. Let us say I am this. I am this person, uh, Simon. I jumped to carry the cross. What happened next? You tell me. I'm listening. Oh, you say what? You are saying Simon, this guy Simon, he is the one who was crucified. Okay, tell me how what happened. I am Simon. I saw Jesus carrying the cross. I jumped to help him. And now what happened next? You are the Muslim who knows everything. Tell us what happened. Okay. Simon carried the cross uh -huh. until the Golgotha, the place where they, 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 they used to crucify people. Okay. And then they crucified him. Hmm. 
but he don't but this is not Jesus how do we crucify him now we have two Jesus if, if 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 Allah he made Simon look like Jesus that now now we have two Jesus <laughs> but uh, any, any, like why should uh, God any, the father why should he crucify Jesus yeah, no don't, don't, don't change topic don't change topic don't change topic why 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 it's not God the father who crucified Jesus it was the Jews Wait. don't don't be don't be funny why did God they crucify Jesus no it was the Jews my friend the Roman soldiers so don't change the topic. Uh -huh. So now we have, according to your story, according to your story, the, the, the fabricated story, because your prophet, by the way, none of those uh, scholars, they say what you just said. You're copying this from Muslim website, aren't you? Because not even a single website says that this is a guy, his name is Simon. The Muslim, they have different names. Oh, so, it is not from Muslim website. Yeah, so where, where, where do you get this from? Where do you get that this guy, Simon, is the one who became Jesus? Where do you get this from? Can you show me an Islamic scholar who said that? No, it's not from an Islamic scholar. So this is fabrication from your own? No, uh, it's Mark 15 and Matthew. Wait, 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 Matthew, Matthew is in front of you. First, it's not Matthew. You told me it's Mark. Matthew. Yeah. It's like 27, it's, verse 32. My, my friend, here we go. Even like, you know, you, you, see, you see how funny the Muslims, guys? I mean, we showed him the verse. It says it clearly. They let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down. They are talking to the Messiah. They are not talking to Simon. And then in the Bible it says in the same chapter the death of the of Yeshua at the hour at the twelfth noon darkness was in the earth until the third hour and then at the at the, at the third hour the Messiah Yeshua he screamed saying Eli Eli lima shabaktani who is the one who was screaming the Messiah it says in the front of you mm, so. He's God, and he abandoned him, huh? <laughs> no, he's quoting a prophecy from the Old Testament about him because they said that the, the true Messiah, when he is going to be crucified, they will strip him from his clothes, the bones will not be broken, etc. There's many prophecies about the cross, and he will say that sentence. So, the Messiah quoting what is mentioned in the Bible in the Old Testament to prove that this is him. Here we go. This is why uh -huh. he said at the end it's completed. Now we go back to the topic. Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. Correct? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay, I think so. Okay, that's wonderful. Now, who is the one is lying? The Christians, the Jews, or Allah? Yeah, the, the, uh, but, bro, I cannot see, like, any proof, like, to refute this ayah. You have no proof to refute this ayah. Forget about the proof now. Let us use your logic. I'm, I'm sure you are a smart, intelligent, and then I want to learn from you today. You know, I'm your student today. If I see you in the cross, God forbid, or me in the cross, I am witnessing for what I saw. That's mean I am not lying. Now, the one who made someone look like Jesus is the cheater. Because he did cheat on us. He lied to us. And he made someone look in the cross like the one we are killing. So Allah is a liar. This is what you are saying to me. You are saying to me, Allah, he did lie to the Christians and the Jews. He made them see someone look like Jesus, but it's not Jesus. And then the Christians and the Jews, they thought this is Jesus. And because this, they thought this is Jesus, because this is what they saw, they wrote in their book, we saw Jesus crucified. So the Christian, the Bible, the, this verse in the Quran, proving to us, that there is not a single lie in the Bible about the story of the crucifixion because you just admitted and the Quran admitted and Muhammad admitted that Allah he would someone look like Jesus so in the book of Mark or Luke or, or, or John etc when it says that we saw Jesus in the cross they are not lying they are telling the truth because this is what they saw but according to Muslim what they saw it was a lie made by Allah for Allah is the biggest liar in history what do you say? Uh, no, let me, no, 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 it's, it's, it's not, it's not like that, bro. Mm -hmm. You just say to me, uh, what do you mean not like that? You just say to I, me. I said already, Ani, be, you, but, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, prophet, if yeah. I give you, if yeah, I give yeah, you, yeah, okay, talk, listen, listen, Os 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 Osman, Osman, if I give you a fake yeah. dollar, if I give you a fake dollar, look like the real dollar, am I yeah. a cheater or yeah, I am an no honest problem. man? There is no problem with that, but when you are told that this is the real dollar, 
right? You should be able to accept that this is the real dollar. Who is accept that a guy he came 600 years after to tell us that he never saw the dollar? <laughs> Did Muhammad even meet, meet yeah. Jesus? He never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. He don't even speak the language of Jesus. And yet, after 600 years, to say this is not Jesus, isn't it funny? Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he's funny. Why well, it's not funny? Because I, prophet, you see, in order, years, in order for like me, so what? You, you know, for, okay, first of all, as long as all the ways were coming from the same God, it doesn't matter like how many years. No, like, no, 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 no. Hold on, because because you, you see, in the beginning, I asked you if there is any explanation your prophet he gave. You said nothing. So Muhammad, you have no idea what he's talking about. He made a fabrication. <laughs> You know, saying no, that it was the resemble. What I is the know. proof, my friend? Yeah. What is yeah. the proof? If you, in order to make something people can believe, you have to give me a proof. Do Muhammad have any proof that the one was on the cross, not Jesus? Mm. Zero. Okay. 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 Oh, okay, I can say to you, oh, hold on, no, because now this is, can cause a problem. I can say you to that Muhammad, the one who came to the Arab in Mecca. This is not the real Muhammad. This is was a clone. I can say that this is was uh, John Travolta, and Allah make him look like Muhammad. No, no. What do you mean? No, no. I, I, I come. I, I came. I okay. I came after fourteen hundred years from Muhammad, and now I will say to you that Muhammad was not Muhammad. This was Mr. Trump. People will laugh at me. People will laugh at me because I have to prove it. Muhammad, he came 600 years after so, Christ, okay. and then he say okay. what he say. I, I what is the proof? I know you are a Christian, but you are a Muslim scholar. You are a scholar about Islam, okay? Mm. Like, what the, did the Prophet say? Like, if you have any hadith or... Because, for me, I'm a Muslim, but I don't know any what the Prophet said about you're the You're a prophet, you're a prophet, he's... You're a, says, you're a prophet. Yeah, what did the, the prophet uh, say? Yeah, you're a prophet. He said it clearly. When you talk to Christian, don't accuse them of lying and don't believe them. Do you know why? <laughs> because he have no answer. Uh, why? <laughs> because he have no answer. Don't say to them you are lying and don't say to them I believe you. Why? Because he have no answer. He has no answer? No. Yes, here, here we go. Okay, uh, here we go. The hadith in front of you. He said, when the people of the book spoke to you, read it, whatever the people of the book spoke to you, believe them not mm -hmm. and don't or, or accuse or accuse them of lying not. So don't accuse them of lying and don't say, you, uh, you know, don't believe them. Why? Because you don't have answer. No, no, no. It, it was the only avoid some unnecessary debate, you know. It's not about uh, he doesn't have answers. No, because okay, so, him, okay, here we go. Okay, them, all right. See the truth, uh, but all, they are not ready uh, to. All like, right, no, uh, no, 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 he have no answer. No, he have no answer. When when the people of Najran, they came to Muhammad, he said to them, uh, I have no answer for you today. Come to me tomorrow. And the second day, he gave them a verse from the Quran, says the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam, which is very funny because neither Adam, uh, similarity of Jesus, same as Adam, he said to them, be, and he was. And all of us, we knew neither Adam, neither Jesus was created by saying be, according to the Quran, which this is a contradiction for what the Quran is saying. So Muhammad, when he make a lie, he cannot even cover his own lie. Because Jesus was not created by saying be, according to the Quran. Allah, he sent his uh, uh, spirit, uh, uh, his, uh, he blew in the, in, the, uh, uh, in the vagina of Mary, his spirit. He did not say be, and he was. Same for Adam. Adam, Allah, he, fa he made mud, and then he fashioned the mud as a human being, and then he breathed into him. And then Adam, after he breathed into him, Al Adam, he said to him, uh, finish me before the sun set, Allah. So he did not say be, and he was. It took him time. So Muhammad, he fabricated a lie, and he cannot cover the lie. And this is a great example. Because now, by, by the statement of the Quran, by the Quran, uh, Osman, chapter 4, verse 157, it's confirming to us that the Christian Bible is absolutely true. And now let me explain to you before you answer. Because if I am there and I saw Jesus in the cross, and you just agreed that this was someone look exactly like Jesus, correct? Yeah, he was, yeah, it was made to the Jews to appear like that. No problem, no problem. My name is Jack Shalom, guys. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Jack Shalom, and my father, his name is Moshe. Habibi. Habibi, I was there, and saw Moses, I saw Yeshua on the cross, Habibi. And I saw him with my own eye, Habibi. 
So now, Habibi, why you are saying to me it's not Yeshua Habibi? We killed Yeshua Habibi. So look what you are saying. That Jack Shalom was there yeah, with his father Moshe and they saw Jesus in the cross. And it was someone look exactly like Jesus. He had the voice of Jesus, the eyes of Jesus, the hair of Jesus, the height of Jesus, and nobody noticed that it's not Jesus. And then he go and he say, and the Christian, they were there too, and they say, okay, Jesus was crucified in the middle of the day of etc. In the, in the date of etc. And this is what happened to Jesus. And then, because this is what they saw. So they are telling the truth. For they are witnessing for what they saw. Not even a single word they add. Everything happened in the cross. The Quran agree with it now. Because the Quran saying that Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. So what is written in the Bible is absolutely true. Crucifixion happened. Jesus died in the cross. And all what Muhammad saying, uh, 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 it was not the real Jesus. Now, there is no way for Muhammad to prove such a lie. And how and why Allah, he changed the look of Jesus. Do you have an idea? No, no. Like uh, the Bible, I'm not saying the Bible is like all lies. But yani, it was true <laughs> when uh, before the, the Prophet Muhammad came. But when... Ah, came, guys, the Bible was and, true. The Bible was true before Muhammad. Did you hear it? Yes. Okay. So the Bible was yeah. true for 600 years until Muhammad happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you are saying, my friend, that in the time of in the time of Jesus, this has happened, which means this is what they, what they wrote. So what they wrote is still there for 600 years, right? That Jesus was crucified. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because the Quran came to reveal the truth. Aha, uh -huh. so guys, okay. Allah, so Allah, okay, so Allah, all right, so, so Allah, okay, hold on, so what you, are, what you are saying to me, that Allah did like the Christians, and he created the Christianity, and he fabricated the Christianity, and he made the Christian believe in Jesus in the cross for 600 years, and then Allah, after 600 years, he woke up, he says, oh, oh what I did, I did lie for those Christians, so now I have to tell them the truth, right? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, you, you just made your God the Shaitan. Because if you are saying to me that Allah for 600 years, he did lie to us and you agree and you say, yeah, that's mean all those people who die for in the previous 600 years believe in the death of Jesus and the cross, they are going to go to hell for they believe in that. And now who is the who is the reason for that? The lie of Allah. So your God, Allah is the liar. He is Satan. The, no, Bi the Bible I says... I think they will go to hell. They will go to uh, hell because they believe in Jesus. Years, no, no, you see, no, no, they will go to hell because they, because we, we, you know, the, the Christians, if there is no crucifixion, there is no Christianity. All the Christianity is based on Jesus' miracles and the crucifixions. Otherwise, why would we not believe in him? So when you create all those things, who gave him the miracle? Allah. Okay, that's what the Muslims say. Who, who is the one who made the Christians see him in the cross? Allah. That's what the Muslims say, and you agree. So according to you, Christianity is a lie created by Allah. So Allah is the biggest devil ever exist in history. Right now we have more than 3 billion Christians believe in the lie of Allah, according to your understanding. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Okay, for now, okay, it's cool. Hmm. So Allah is a liar, I agree. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah. So, so uh, what what do you say to yourself now? How you how you worship on God? Who can? Because now, if this is true, maybe Muhammad is not Muhammad. Maybe Moses is not Moses. Maybe me is not me. No, maybe you I, is maybe you, you is not you. See, no, we, according to your logic, according you can. No, say, not my logic. This was lo yeah, this was your logic, Allah my friend. Is a deceiver is a liar. My friend, this but is this is your logic. No, 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 no. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all. This is not my logic. Secondly, the Quran confirmed that Allah is a liar. You speak Arabic, don't you? I uh, uh, No, you speak Arabic. I, I heard you saying the letters in like a letter in Arabic. Yani, yani, right? So uh, you speak Arabic. Did, did Allah? I, 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 did... I'm, li I'm in the Middle East, yani. I'm in the Middle East, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to learn. Okay. No yeah, problem. Continue, but, 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 did, but did Allah say the one? Who Allah misguide, nobody can guide. The one who Allah deceive, nobody can can guide. The Quran says it clearly. 
ومن يضل الله فلا هذه له the one who Allah deceive no هذه no هذه for تجد في سبيله chapter four verse number eighty eight and you speak Arabic here we're going to put it on the screen ومن يضل الله and the one who Allah deceive nobody can guide him so who is the deceiver Allah and you speak Arabic And actually, what the verse is saying that Shaitan is way better than Allah because the one who Allah is like he deceived, uh, nobody can guide him. But if, you, if Shaitan must guide you or deceive you, maybe you can be guided. But if Allah did that to you, that's it. And here we, you know, we we notice that the Quran is a book of the devil because if Allah is the one who is leading. But, but after the prophet came, yani, that is a guide us. No, my friend, here Maybe we go. No, actually, no, 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 my friend, my friend. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Allah saying to Muhammad, look, read carefully. Do you want, do you want to guide him who Allah has made as, go astray, which means he deceived? The Arabic, in Arabic, is deceived. So Allah saying to Muhammad, are you trying to make the one who Allah deceived guided? Are you stupid or what? So the Quran is a, is a book of stupidity because if the Quran sent to guide people, well, you guide those who Allah misguide or the one who Shaitan misguide. Obviously, there's no Shaitan. The one who the devil has misguided. Who? The, the one who the devil has misguided. Okay, but the, but Allah the, saying the, the Quran but, but, but but now Allah is saying that He is the one who 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 will deceive people, not Shaitan. And he is saying it clearly, do you want to guide him who Allah made him deceived? And he but who the, Allah the, the made him ability comes from God. My friend, but your God Allah is the is a, is the devil in the same time. So the Quran was sent to guide me or to misguide me. No, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, do you, all Muslims have no answer for anything. Since when Muslims have an answer? I never, I never saw a Muslim have an answer. The only answer they say, Allah knows best. Thank you very much. But the verse in the front of us is clear that are you going to, are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? The answer is no, you cannot. And he whom Allah he made this is Muslim translation go astray. You will never find out any way for him. And by the way, this is proven to be false because Muhammad, he was saying those to the kuffar of Quraysh and later they converted to Islam. So Allah was a fraud. Muhammad, he thought, he tried to give an excuse why they are not going to accept Islam. Why? He, so, so the thing is, yani, yani, maybe you don't understand the, the verses, I think. You know, my friend, I understand the verses and you can do your best. You can open Ibn Kathir, you can open Al-Tabari, Al-Qurtubi, anything you want and you will see how stupid the Quran is. And this is not only in one place in the Quran, the whole Quran is speaking about the same thing, that there's only one deceiver, his name is Allah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, bro. Okay, cool. So what, you will leave Islam or you will not leave Islam yet? Uh, no, this topic only is not, any, uh, it's not like a complete, any. I cannot decide from only this topic, you know. Mm -hmm. Why, 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 yeah. why, why you cannot tell this? You just agreed that Allah died to the Christians, uh, He lied to the Jews, He lied to everybody for 600 years at least. And then, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we, we showed you the verses in the Quran, as you see, this is another example, that Allah is the uh, one who deceives people, and you cannot guide those who Allah deceives. what deceive. he did was just trying to protect Jesus, not uh, Yani. No, 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 you cannot say that. Okay, let me let me show you something now. There is a horrible thing behind this story. Because if you want to protect Jesus, you do not need to put someone in the cross. You can kill all the army of the Roman, and you can destroy all the Jews. This is God, right? He can say one word, and they will be demolished. Do you agree? But it's better to kill one person than killing millions. But you, but you did not kill any one person. What person? What you? What what person? The person who was uh, killed. Simon, the, uh, well, Simon is an honest man. He did nothing. Why you want to kill him? What he did? He's he's a good guy. What about what the, what about the people who dies right now? Are they wrong or what? My friend, Dying doesn't depend no, on whether death, you are innocent no, or normal, normal death is different. I will die, you will die. God gave us life and he made us live in this earth for a certain time. You know, we are not born uh -huh. to stay alive forever. That's, 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 a, that's a natural death. 
but uh, but the, here you are saying to me that your God Allah He made someone honest and die in the cross. But there is no reason if Allah want to save Jesus, He can take Jesus to Him. Okay, let's say Allah want to take Jesus to Him, He can do it. But even even if you say that Jesus died on the cross, He was even innocent. Exactly, He was innocent. We are not saying He's not. But this is the but but this is the crime of the the, the one who who want to kill him. But now you are saying to me, Allah He replace him with someone He should not be dead. Secondly, by doing that, Allah He lied to us. Number three, let me ask you this question: Why Allah want to protect? Why Allah want to protect Jesus, but He don't want to protect Muhammad? Muhammad was killed by the Jews too. Why Allah no, did no, not? No, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus was protected here. Okay. Uh, according to my belief no yeah, problem okay this is my question so i'm saying my friend listen carefully as long you are saying and you are agreeing according to the quran that jesus was protected so why allah did not protect muhammad from the jews the jews they killed muhammad why yeah allah does whatever he want to do uh -huh. allah does whatever he want to do uh -huh. uh, he wants you to die from poison you're gonna die from that Ah, but this is me. Like, okay, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but 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 you don't even need to ask about that. No, no, we need to ask because uh, you know you, you see if I have two prophets and I decide to save one and throw the other one from the from from the boat. Obviously, I care for one. The second one is a garbage. This is what you are saying to me because if you have to, let us say you have two sons, and you are in a boat, mm -hmm. and both of them they are going to be killed by the Jews, and you decide to dump one of them to the Jews so they can kill him. And you decide to save Jesus. That's mean Muhammad is nothing. Mm -hmm. So how that can be? You Muslim, you claim that Muhammad is the most important man for man, between mankind for Allah. How he is the most important man between all mankind? Yet Allah, He let him die by a poison, which is a which a which a rat poison you can buy from Walmart. I can give you the name if you want. You know the the rat poison used to kill him. But uh, when when it comes to saying that uh, Muhammad was the best of creation or something like that, uh, of course, yeah, those yeah, I don't really like believe in those, you know, because uh, if I, I don't really believe in those. Yeah. You don't but believe in I those. You don't. Jesus uh, is God. Jesus is uh, bro. Those things, man. Hmm. So you don't believe that Muhammad is the best of mankind? Yeah. Those are just lies, and the gospel was written like just copy and paste from the pre previous books and from Daniel. Ah, okay. Like, but, uh, but uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm asking you now. Uh, you just said that you don't believe that Muhammad is the best of mankind. Yeah, the best of mankind. Yeah, I don't think so. He's not. When it comes to mankind, because uh, for me, I believe that Jesus was a person, then he can be uh, the best uh, if we compare and if we compare according to my beliefs, you know. Hmm. So Jesus is the best of yeah. mankind according to your belief? Yeah. Not Muhammad. Because I believe he's a man mankind and I believe so. Hmm. But that means Muhammad is not yeah. is not the, the best of mankind according to your belief, right? Yeah, but uh, he was a prophet, yeah. Hmm. So now we have an agreement with our friend here, uh, Osman, that Jesus is the best of mankind. Uh huh. And uh, let me ask you, uh, when you say Jesus is the best of mankind, why why you made such a decision that he is the best? Like what what make you uh, go into that conclusion? Uh, because uh, because of what he did and and what the prophet did and it's like if I compare according to my logic but according to the logic of uh, like this the Islam and but it's different I'm a Muslim of course but and, oh, so but I have a brain also yeah so you have a brain thank you for having a brain I'm so happy for you so because your brain is functioning very well. There is no way to compare between Jesus and Muhammad. So Muhammad was a very bad person, right? Uh, no, he, he, he had some flaws, but not really like bad. Any. Like what? Like what? Okay, let me let me ask you. If 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 you have uh, Osman, 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 listen to me. Uh, yeah. If you have a friend, and it would my respect to your wife, I'm not make, I'm not trying to insult. You have a friend, or even you have your father. He come to your house and he flirt with your wife. What you would do with him? 
Uh, did he fled? He didn't flee. He just came. He found uh, Zainab. Hmm. Then he went back. No, he flirted. He said to her, Subhanahu mu'allif al qulub I can show you the reference. And you speak Arabic. He flirted with her. He said to her, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. So I want you to be honest, Usman. If uh, uh, your father, he came to your house. Hmm? Listen, if your father, with my respect to your father, I don't mean to insult any one of your family. You, you understand, right? And this is why I give an example. If your father came to your house and he flirted with your wife, and your wife, she told you that your father was here and he said this to me. What you would do? Uh, if he is my father, there's no problem. My father, like chatting with my wife, I don't think there's a my problem. Friend, what a chatting, what a father. chatting. He, he, said to, he said to her, no, he did not chat. What a chatting. He said to her, my heart is beating for you. What chatting? We're not talking about chatting. Like chatting, say hello, how are you, my daughter? That's not a crime. He flirted with her, and it says even and for how he has, and he fell in love with her, or he fell in love with her body because the curtain moved. So, what you would do? Be honest. Uh, if uh, he is my father, I would think like, uh, "What's wrong with you, bro?" I mean, yeah. That's it, guys. What's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> What? Yeah, of course I'll tell my father like what what's wrong, man? And what are you doing like with my wife? Mm. And he said, if he said to you, okay, I feel I feel, I I like her. I wanna sleep with her. What you would do? I wanna have her. What you would do? Uh, I, 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 I I would just uh, uh I would just take my wife and uh, move to another place. Uh, so you are going to run from the crimes of Muhammad. This is what you are saying. But why did you change the topic from crucifixion to this? Bro? No, we are not because we are. We were asking you how come we are talking about the crucifixion. Why Jesus is saved and why Muhammad is not? It's you who mentioned that Muhammad because he is not qualified to be like Jesus. So Jesus way better than Muhammad. So uh, obviously this is why Allah he saved. And it's you who said that, not me. So I'm saying to you now. Uh, what what was wrong with Muhammad? This was, this is how the conversation came, my friend. Wake up, you know, take drink some coffee. Uh, why Muhammad is not good for you enough to be like Jesus? You said he have some you know fault and problems, and I, so we mentioned like uh, uh, the story of Zainab. So what kind of a person he is not honored enough a relationship between father and son by adoption? He go to the house when the husband is not there. He cheat with the wife against the husband and obviously there was a relationship with them because the, you see if the woman she is a true woman and a strange man or even a father she would be more angry she would say to her husband look at your father what he did to me he flirted with me shame on you and your family i'm not going to stay here no more she did not do that she is happy for it that means she is a bad woman but uh, here I think yani, Allah was just trying to prove something you know? prove what he, yeah he proved that Muhammad is a perverted man Prove what? Because if you know, if, if you are the prophet who is teaching Muslim, no. oh, don't look at the women, don't look at the women, you know, the, the women should wear burqa, whatever you say, Muslims. And then we find that Muhammad, when he go alone with the women, he want to sleep with her. And this is not his wife. Are you allowed in Islam to go to a woman she is already married and you flirt with her? You will say no, right? So how Muhammad don't follow his own teaching? So if you say you cannot do that, if a, if, if, a, if if a different Muslim guys he do that, Muhammad he will beat him maybe, but he can do that, for he is a fraud. Are you there, Osman? Huh. You have a bad internet. So what we have as a conclusion until he come back, his internet is bad. What we have a conclusion from this Muslim that Allah is a liar. Thank you very much. Allah is a fraud. Thank you very much. Allah is the devil. Thank you very much. And he agreed that Allah, he lied to us for the last previous 600 years before Muhammad. Thank you very much. And he agreed that we Christians, we witness for the truth because we saw Jesus in the cross, not someone else. And we, as the verse saying, we have in the Bible exactly as what we saw, which means we are telling exactly the truth. 
Because the truth is what you say about what you saw, not about imaginary. Somebody comes 600 years, he was not even there, and he come with a story saying, oh, it wasn't uh, Jesus, it was some, someone, someone else. So the story is very clear now that even a Muslim, he agree that Allah is a fraud. Allah is the devil. Even when I say to him, well, Allah, he says that he is the one who deceived and the one who deceived, nobody can guide him. 